Shalom, I'm going to make this super quick, giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Hashem, Lokai Kodesh Shalom to the 144,000 of us that you elect out there. Shalom to you all. Like I said, I'm going to make this super, super quick. Anyway, this is from a video of friends of the prophets who uh, else noticed, noticed this. General Yohanna on the take. So that's the video, friends of the prophets. Uh, anyway, he makes a statement. Matter of fact, let me give you the title of this video. I had a couple of titles in my head, but I'm going to, the title will be, they will ask you Israelite camp leaders about the you know what. I'll see what I'm going to do. I'll say something to that, put the title up, something to that effect. But that's pretty much as it's, there's going to be, there's going to come a time when they're going to ask you camp leaders about the you know what. I may use that one. So anyway, let me just let you listen. And he just put this up too. It was in my notifications, I believe. And I told y'all a long time ago, I went down to one of their uh, camps and uh, sat in one of their classes because um, I was um, I was going to join them. And something in my spirit kept saying, no, something is off, something is off. Because I asked them about the mark of the beast. Okay, I asked them certain things. They couldn't give me an answer. So, I said, something in my spirit was like, no, something is off, something is off. It was like they just couldn't answer that question on the MOTB. And a few other things. But it was so long ago, I don't, I don't even remember. They almost rang me up out the truth. You see that? So, yeah. This man practices heavy witchcraft. Not him per se, but like he said, they could just tell you anything. If you notice a lot of things about them changing the laws and using the military against the American citizens, it came out the same week. Then all of a sudden they put this out. Okay? They don't do nothing by action. Yeah, this is a video. Uh, so I, didn't, I, didn't, I hadn't watched the whole... The original video uh, which was put up by some guy that looks like an Edomite and you, focusing on um, the IUCPK and them drilling in the park and doing push-ups and you know mar ma uh, paramilitary style stuff no guns, I didn't show any show, show them shooting guns or nothing like that but you know when people see that they think of guns and uh, explosives and um, hate group and you know they didn't show them in a classroom setting setting reading the scriptures so you know this Ed the Edomite or where the pairs of being an Edomite may be set up maybe not but let, let's deal with the timing over this uh DOD directive what was it let me see if I can bring it back up bear with me for a minute Yep, DOD Directive, Department of Defense Directive, 5240.01. Uh, DOD, Department of Defense. That's your military. And there's an actual, you can get the, the whole, you can get the PDF on the, on the web. And that, you know, if you've, if you've been watching the news, like I have, like I watch the news, there was a situation where the uh, the FEMA was on high alert. FEMA, not military people. They they go out. They like the Red Cross. They don't go go out military style. That you had people in North Carolina, I guess militias, unorganized militia. militia. There's two militias in uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Title Ten of the United States Code. The unorganized militia, that's any male U.S. citizen or resident or denizen. Like if you're living, in, if you're living like the Venezuelans, they can, if they're between the ages of 18 and 25 in a, in a war, you can recruit them. Because they, in, they intend to be Americans or U.S. citizens. So it's not just citizens. So... That's what the militia consists of. The unorganized militia is any any man, U.S. in the U.S. 
um, 18 to 25 years old. Then it can go up to 45, but it's initially 18 to 25. So anytime they look at you, they look at you, oh, that's, that, that, um, look, a guy looks, he's about 22 years old. He's on an unorganized militia, all right? Them gangbangers out there are unorganized militia. If you put them into the organized militia, they already know how to fight. They know how to sh shoot guns. They show, they feature that in, this, in the movie, uh, The Boys and Company C. If you can get a hand on that movie that came out in like 75, it came out the same week that uh, Apocalypse Now came out. So we, me and my people, we watched both movies. They made more a big deal about the Apocalypse Now, but uh, Boys and Company Company C was a great movie, a great. And then after that, you had uh, Full Metal Jacket. So you had those uh, military theme type movies. But anyway, let's get back into this. When you go into the when you go into the into the laws, right? You go into the, uh, you know, uh, Title Ten, U.S. United States Code is a military military code. I believe also known as a military code of justice. And they tell you the difference between an organized militia, which is a military, and an unorganized militia, a a, bo a man between the ages of eighteen and twenty-five, ultimately up to forty-five. But first, they grabbing up, you know. And then they're talking about getting women up in there. So, shit, if Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. So this, when I saw this, this DOD Directive 5240.01, uh, I thought about auto app KO. Look up auto app KO. So is this man a part of it? Are they aware of that? Uh, we don't know. It could be. In, it could be the time when this this guy just said, "Oh, I'm gonna make a video on this," or is he a part of some something bigger than that to make them look to the Israelites are militarized now? You know, because that's how they're gonna look at you. But my focus is on this brother, friend of the prophet, which is. Uh, he follows uh, GMS, and he'll tell you that in his videos. Although he says he's not officially a part of GMS, you're doing the work, you are officially a part of GMS, because you do the work that the GMS, or you would be under Yahweh Bashim Shai. But you say, it, he says in his videos, I believe that the men of the apostles and the bishops are, and the elders are the, the men, the men of the Lord. So that's what he says on all of his videos. So he said at first, before getting with us, he's looking for a religion, so to speak. Comes down to Israelites. He gets with the uh, ISUBK. He asks him a question about the MOTB. He says, as you heard, they didn't have an answer. They, they didn't have a, 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 a satisfactory answer for him. So that made him say, nah, I'm not, I'm, it's not feeling, I'm not feeling right. So eventually he's... Uh, you know, he's down with GMS, even though he's not officially a part of a camp. But, you know, if he comes up to a camp and salutes you guys out, you know, and he says, I'm friends of the prophet, you know, hey, receive him, you know, say shalom to the brother. Because he's a, he's a part of the GMS, whether he, whether he wants to be or not, he's part of the spirit of GMS, meaning the prophets of the Lord. So that's all I wanted to say. Anyway, with that, on to the next, shalom.